Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 65-year-old male with a lateral knee pain for about five or six months, and we did an MRI of the knee here, and we see that they have a finding here in the medial side. This is the opposite side of the pain, but they do have a little abnormality, a little tear of their medial meniscus, back over here, a little undersurface tear. Their medial collateral ligament looked good. They had not had prior surgery. Um, and if we look over here on the lateral side where they're having their symptoms, the lateral meniscus looks great. Nice lateral meniscus. And now we're going to look at the lateral collateral ligament complex, which is, this is part of it here, this is called the fibular collateral ligament. It comes off the femur. Here's the femur, lateral femur. And this dark band coming down is the fibular collateral ligament. And you can see that at the origin here, there's a vertical band of bright signal linear uh, tear, longitudinal intersubstance tear right at the origin, not completely torn, but definitely abnormal. And then right here and on down, it looks completely normal, normal in signal. So just at the origin, a partial tear. And if we go down low, we see the conjoined tendon. So this blends, becomes the conjoined tendon. It blends with the, pop, um, the uh, biceps muscle. Here's the biceps coming down, this gray muscle. And it comes down, and then it turns into the tendon. And its tendinous attachment joins with the fibular collateral ligament to form this common conjoined tendon that come down here to the fibula. So the fibular collateral ligament is partially torn. Now, when we see something here, look underneath that. Underneath there, you see the popliteus tendon. It comes right out of this little trough. There's a little scooped out area. It looks like a C here, this concavity. And we should see a dark popliteus tendon coming out. And instead, we see fluid signals. So this is a tear of the popliteus tendon origin. It looks like it's probably completely torn and pulled down, now we've got to find the torn end of it, maybe right in this region here. So we're going to put up the axial images to troubleshoot. You know, someone could argue, that well, maybe there's some little fibers intact, but it's a, it looks like it probably is a complete tear. But it can be hard to tell if it's complete or near complete. Uh, so now we're going to put up the axial images to try to find that. On the axial images, this is the medial side here. We can see a popliteus, I'm sorry, a popliteal cyst here. Now we're going to look for the popliteus muscle. So this is the popliteus muscle. We're down below the knee. This is the tibia. You can see this uh, uh, muscle here. You can see the central tendon. We're going to follow the popliteus to central tendon up, up, up. There's a little bit of fluid next to it, and this can be what we call prolapse of joint fluid, where fluid from the joint can go right through the popliteus hiatus, this little area where the popliteus tendon goes. And it's, uh, it can be a normal finding, just a little communication there. Or you can have a little ganglion cysts over here, or some of the bursal effusions, but um, this may just be some prolapse of joint fluid. So the tendon is right here. We're going to go down to the muscle. Muscle looks great. Come on up. The tendon looks pretty fine right here. It's going to wrap around forward here, make the loop and go up. So it looks okay there. There it looks pretty reasonable. Here it's starting to look kind of funny, and there it's gone. So between here and here, it looks like it's completely torn. And this is where it should attach. So say there's a complete tear of the popliteus tendon with a retraction down here to the level of the uh, meniscus. And there's also a partial tear of the conjoined tendon origin. I'll put this back up. And that's it. So it's pretty rare to see a ruptured popliteus tendon like this. Pretty commonly you'll see a gray signal and you say, well, maybe it's um, tendinopathy. And sometimes you have magical angle phenomena. It can be hard to tell, but this is just a, one of those rare, nice examples where it looks like it's torn for sure and probably retracted down here a little bit. And they have this associated tear injury here of the fibular collateral ligament origin. And that's it. Thank you so much.